people don't get type 1 diabetes overnight. The disease develops insidiously and can remain symptom-free and thus undiscovered for a long time. Nevertheless, type 1 diabetes can be detected early, long before its onset, by means of appropriate tests. Type 1 diabetes can occur at any age, but its peak onset is during puberty, between the ages of 10 and 15. It is an autoimmune disease that can often be detected years before the onset of the disease. Immediately after birth, it is possible to check whether there is a genetic predisposition for type 1 diabetes. In addition, it is possible to investigate, over the course of time, whether the autoimmune process is already underway. The Helmholtz Center in Munich has developed a test procedure that can be used to identify type 1 diabetes before onset of the disease. It is offered as part of the FRIDA study for children between the ages of 2 and 5. In type 1 diabetes, one's own immune system destroys the beta cells. The best markers for this are so-called autoantibodies. They can be detected in the blood. They are currently the best means of detecting type 1 diabetes early. These tests can also be used to distinguish between type 1 and type 2 patients, which is very important for subsequent treatment. The number of type 1 diabetes patients is increasing. Can the onset of the disease be prevented? Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease, which means that the body fights its own naturally occurring cells using the weapons of its immune system. Currently, type 1 diabetes cannot yet be prevented. However, a number of research approaches do address possibilities of prevention, even if the majority of these are still at a relatively early stage. Immunotherapy approaches try to prevent the destruction of beta cells, that is, to prevent or at least curb the onset of the disease. For example, vaccination studies are underway in which insulin is administered as a nasal spray or in a capsule for swallowing. This way, insulin has no influence on the blood sugar level. Instead, it acts as a vaccine that is intended to train the immune system and thus stop the destruction of beta cells. In addition, research is intensely looking for environmental factors that either promote or protect against type 1 diabetes. It is assumed, for instance, that early childhood development has a major influence on the development of type 1 diabetes. Infections of the respiratory tract in early childhood could possibly increase the risk, as could early introduction of supplementary food or a caesarean section birth. Learn more about diabetes in our other videos.